Hi everyone, today we are going to be doing an unboxing, like always, because that's what we do here on this channel. We like subscription boxes, because why not? And if I'm talking a little funny, as you can see, this side of my face is swollen because I'm getting a really bad toothache right now. It's been all morning long that it's like been, been progressing. I have a nerve that is exposed, so when it hurts, it really hurts and it swells up literally everything from here. I know I'm a hot fucking mess. I always have something wrong with me all the time. Like, look at my hands. They're really, really red today. They just are not wanting to work. <laughs> Nothing wants to work on me right. So, but the unboxing that we are going to be doing is a new subscription and it is the Ipsy Ultimate. I figured why not try it one time because I seen that Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette was supposed to be in this and I hope to God I got it. This is the main reason why I even signed up for it. I never wanted the Ultimate other than when I seen that they were going to put the Rustic Glam Palette on there. I was like, hell yeah. Because yeah, I can get it on um, Beautylish. I can get it on her site, which no, I can't get it on her site because it's completely sold out. And I thought about getting it on Beautylish, but I was like, you know what? I'll just wait until everyone gets their subscription boxes for this month in case I don't have it. I'm going to go on like Macari, the selling walls and that kind of thing because people will try to sell it. They're not going to want the palette because they may have it already or it may not be for them. They may not like that kind of stuff. So I hope to God I got it because that is the main reason why I wanted it. And of course, Murad. The product I picked was a Murad product. So this is the ultimate. I usually end up getting these types of boxes because I always get add-ons, which I did get add-ons. So I went ahead. I'm going to pull them out really quick and I'm probably, I don't know what, if I'm going to be disappointed or if I'm going to be happy. So let me pull these out really quick. I'm going to show you guys my add-ons. And the only reason why I'm doing it is because it's just an amazing brand that I've never got to try. And I really, really want to try something from them. And it's by Kate Somerville. I actually got three products from Kate Somerville. Because she had all three on there. And I had like, fuck yeah, I'm nabbing them. I'm getting for 18 to 16 or something like that. It's like, why not? Because these are like 80 to $90 products. So that's why I grabbed them. Man, my tooth is getting worse. First thing I got is the Kate Somerville KX Active Concentrates. The second thing I got is the Kate Wrinkle Warrior. And this is a hydration gel and I believe this is like a serum. Yes, this one's a serum. And this is the Dermal Quench, Dermal Quench Wrinkle Warrior Advanced Hydrating Plus Plumping Treatment. And I will pull them out of the boxes real quick to show you guys. And these are just three of the add-ons that I got. Because I got like six or seven, something like that. And that is what the Wrinkle Warrior packaging looks like. It's very, very cute. It kind of reminds me of the Glam Glow Mud Mask stuff. And this is the serum. Very, very pretty packaging. I love packaging like that. I just love serums in general. And this one is unique. This is a unique product. It says Shake Well. If I didn't have makeup on already, which I didn't get ready with me, ugh, I didn't get ready with me. So if you guys want to see that and see how this makeup look came about, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bible. I used the new uh, Estee Lauder foundation tinted shit. <laughs> oh, I can't think straight because my tooth starting to hurt so bad. I used the Estee Lauder Futuristic Hydra Rescue. So if you guys want to see, and some Pat McGrath. If you like Pat McGrath, I use Pat McGrath as well. So go over there and check it out. And Ofra. I used all kinds of amazing high-end brands. There was a couple drugstore, but mainly all high-end and luxurious. And this is what, this is the Derma Quench Wrinkle Warrior. It is so unique. It has a little sprayer. Like, I don't want to spray it because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> but you're supposed to, like, directly spray it on your face is how to use am and pm so you can use it morning and night use twice a day shake bottle well press at oh accutator button which is that and to dispense small amount onto fingertips and massage into skin okay so you will spray it on your hand and then spray it on your face because the advertisement that i seen it was like spraying it on her face directly so sorry 
and avoid contact with eyes and lips. Allow product to absorb into skin and follow with your favorite Kate Somerville moisturizer, which will be this. I will do that and then first of all, of course, the very first thing or the last, may I may use the serum, one or the other. But those are three of the add-ons that I got, which value to like probably around $300. And I spent like maybe 50 if that, which is amazing. That's why I love Ipsy. The next thing, next add-on I got is by First Aid Beauty. And it's Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask. I've only had a couple products by First Aid Beauty, but I am excited to try that out. And of course, I see the coffee. I had to get the coffee scrub. I got like 10 of these motherfuckers now because they are so, so good. And I get them for $3 a piece from Ipsy when they're normally $21 a piece. Do the math. It is pouring down raining, so if you guys hear that, it's such a beautiful sound. I love hearing it when it rains. The next thing I got is by Skin & Co. This is the Truffle Therapy Limited Edition Shimmering Oil. So the packaging is... Wow, that is tiny. I only paid $3 for it, but still, that is so tiny. It's so small. Mmm, it smells like coconuts. I'll put a little bit on my hands, just so we can see what it looks like. Because all the other stuff I don't want to open until I actually go to use it. I try not to waste stuff. It definitely feels like an oil. <laughs> it has a little bit of a sheen into it. You see that? Mmm. And it smells so good. To me, it smells like tanning lotion. I think it smells really good. I love the scent of tanning lotion, but that's my personal preference because I like the smells of coconut in certain types of ways, though. You know what I mean? Like artificial coconut. I like the real scent coconut, too. This I do want to try because I've been really wanting to try something for my tan. And this is the Everyday Glow Invisible Color Gradual Tan Color Extender. So I'm going to do my self tanner and then I'm going to use this and it will keep it my tan lasting longer. So I'm so excited to get this. I wish I would have been able to actually get a tanner though because I've really been wanting to try their self tanners because they sell out so fast on Ipsy. Like, bam, they are gone. If you don't jump on that shit, they're gone. So let me make sure that was everything for add-ons. So now on into the bag. Oh my God. This bag is so fucking cute. It is just so pretty. I love the style of it. It is so pretty. And I'm definitely going to be using this one today when I go to work. Just look at it. It's so cute. I love this. I'm so glad I got all three bags. Theme is Get That Glow. And this is for the month of May. Oh, well, you know. Nothing on the thing. Come on, Ipsy. Fuck, man. You're the one that always puts it on there. Like, seriously. I wonder if the rest of them are like this. I hope not. Because it's so, that is so stupid. It says highlighter 101, powder, liquid, cream. It gives you tips and that kind of thing, which is nice to get tips. But still, I would like to know what the products are that I'm getting and how much they cost and what they are effective for. You know what I mean? Like, come on, Ipsy. I love you. I love you to death. You're my favorite, my top favorite subscription box. But come on, get your shit together. Put the fucking information on the cards. I was watching Leora Loves Makeup 89 and she had the same problem with all three of her subscriptions because I did the same thing that she does. I have all three and that's just bullshit. For the first product that I have is Saint, Saint Tropica Beach Goddess Hot Oil Hair Mask, which will be nice to have. And this is known as a holy grail of all hair masks. Hmm. It is a powerhouse formula of world-renowned hair superfoods paired with the heart of a hot oil treatment, delivering bombshell results every time for stronger, thicker, luxurious hair. With unbelievable shine and softness, get up to three full uses with our new triple tube, triple use tube. Honestly, I could get way more than three. Hmm. It's got biotin and hair superfoods for stronger, thicker, luxurious hair. So I am excited to try this out because I do need a hot oil treatment. I completely ran out of mine a long, long time ago. 
So I've been doing like keratin conditioners. It works really good. Why is that snow? I'm trying to get it out of the damn tube and I'm struggling. I feel like it's going to like burst everywhere once I do. Okay, as soon as you touch it, <laughs> as soon as you touch it, it turns into an oil. Why? Oh my god, dude, I can't even get this shit out. Oh yeah, it turns straight into an oil as soon as you touch it, but it's so hard getting this out of the tube. I don't think my thing is like opened all the way. There. Ew. This stinks so bad. It smells like burnt fucking hair. Yeah, it smells like burnt hair. I can't get it out of the tube. That's how it comes out. It's super, super hard to get out. I'm about to fucking give up today. It is super hard to get out of the tube, but that is what it looks like when it comes out of the tube and then it turns into a straight oil, but it stinks. Oh, I can't do that smell. It smells like burnt hair mixed with like coconut. I cannot do that smell. So I'm literally going to do this treatment and then probably have to wash my hair right after because I don't want my hair to fucking stink. Mm -mm. I don't like the smell of that. I mean, I'm going to try it and I'll let you guys know, but I don't like the smell of it. <sighs> really? I didn't get the Dominique Cosmetics Rust Gland Palette. That sucks. Instead, I got something from Laura Geller that I can get at fucking TJ Maxx for super, super cheap, probably. This is the Laura Geller Urban Garden Central Park Palette. And it's got face, eye, and cheek palette. That's what it looks like on the outside. It seems pretty, but God, man, really? <sighs> they always send me such neutral shit, and I have it to where I, get, I want all colors. I don't know why they never send me anything colorful, ever. I guess I'm going to have to thumbs down this one just so they can see, like, look, I'm getting fucking tired of having neutral shades. Tired of it. Okay. Huh. That's what... That is what the palette looks like. It is very cute, but, like... Is this a highlighter? Like, I don't understand. Is that is that a fucking highlighter? Because if that's a highlighter, that is going to be way too dark for my skin tone. Way too dark. Yeah, that's a highlighter, dude. Look how dark that is. It'd be beautiful as a eyeshadow, but... And this is the blush. This is for, like, deep skin tones, man. Why did I get something that is for deeper skin tones? I'm set as fair. I'm not happy with this at all, period. I swear to God, it just feels like they're like, oh, here, we'll just throw this in here and we're done. That is the whole palette. I mean, I didn't swatch on the greatest, but the eyeshadow color right here looks like that blush. It just has like a shimmer into it because it seems like it's literally these two colors mixed and that's what they made that with. Like, don't get me wrong. It is very pretty, but... I just don't think I'm going to really get any use out of this. <sighs> and Natalie done went on vacation, so I can't give it to her to take with her on vacation unless I text her to see if she's still here in Ohio. But if not, she's already in Florida. But that's what the palette looks like. Sorry I don't seem so upbeat and happy about it. Because, like, I keep saying, they keep getting me fucking neutral shades continuously. And it's very aggravating. I love my neutral shades. I do. I really, really love neutral shades. But I'm getting tired of getting them. I want color. I want some color. Seriously. Ipsy. And then I'm being pissy on top of that because I have a fucking badass toothache. But I'm not showing you guys that. But this unboxing just sucks. It sucks. The next thing I got is something good. I do need this. I need a different one to try out at least. It's a Dermacent. Derm Medicine Advanced Skin Care Weightless Face Moisturizer SPF 25 Broad Spectrum SPF 25 Sunscreen 
It's got sage leaf, grape stem cell, grape stem cells, green tea, and vitamin E in it. And it's daily face moisturizer. It's got cute packaging. It does. Oh. Gotta take the top off. Now hopefully this doesn't stink, because some sunscreens can. Mmm. That actually smells good. Oh, and it's very, very light creamy. Oh, I like that. I already have sunscreen on right now, but I like the scent of that. I like this. So far, I am happy about this. I'm happy about all my add-ons. And the hair mask, not so much. I mean, I guess I can get excited about the Laura Geller stuff because I do like Laura Geller, but I just really wanted the Rustic Glam palette. That's why I'm so bummed. The next thing, woo, the next thing I have is the Sunday Riley CEO CE Micro Dissolve Cleansing Oil. I will test this out tonight because I got the CEO Moisturizer, Vitamin C Moisturizer, and I love it to death. And I've heard really good things about this. So I'm happy, happy, happy I got this. I'm so happy. I love Sunday Riley. But this, I'm telling you, this right here will knock Sunday Riley out of the park any day. This is the Murad Renewing Eye Cream. This is the one I picked. I am so, so happy I got this. I love Murad. And I have not got to try this eye cream. I have the Hydrogel um, Under Eye Eye Cream by Murad, and I love that one. But I went through it so fast. I went through a tube of it in not even two month period. Which I think is pretty damn fast, honestly. And this is a full size. Oh my god. That is a full size. And this is like $70 or something like that. It's like anywhere from like $60. I'd say honestly from like $60 to $80. That's how expensive this shit is. But I mean, I just love the packaging. Woo! And I love the smell of their stuff. I have not tried anything from this line of theirs particularly but I'm just gonna do a tiny little dab because I don't want to waste it because their shit is amazing oh god it feels so thick and creamy mmm mm, it smells greeny it smells so fresh and oh my goodness that feels so good on my damn hand mmm I'm happy I got that the next thing I got is the pure heels pore clear black charcoal peel off mask I don't like peel off masks <laughs> I don't but my husband he likes that kind of shit so he may try this I'm not going to open it personally I'll let him open it because he has his own skincare stuff and he may want to finish up his other stuff before he opens this but my husband Nick loves this shit like peel off masks I mean he's never tried this personally but Hey, I might try it. If he likes it, I'll test it out because he knows how I'm very, very particular with my skincare. And Murad and Sunday Riley and 111 Skin, those are my babies. My babies. in L'Oreal. I love L'Oreal's skincare. They're affordable. They're great. I really see a huge difference in my stuff. Honestly, like with my tooth swollen, my face looks really full and nice. Because over here, this looks all bleh. See? It's just like all sunken in and this is all puffed out and filled and it looks, oh, it looks good. This side looks horrible. Maybe I should have two things more often. No, no, because I will sit here and ball my fucking eyes out the whole time because that's how bad they get. The next thing I got is the Beautiful Factor Water Jam Cleansing Gel Balm. This is the Micro Dissolve Cleansing Oil. Okay. Two different products, all right. I was gonna say, if they gave me two different fucking cleansing gels, I'm gonna be mad. Because <laughs> they could have gave me something else. They could have gave me the Rustic Glam palette. But this is the Activation and Skin Factor Skin Balance Barrier Enhancement Active Self Reproducing. Wow, and healthy skin. They got a lot of claims there. Skin Probiotic, Texture, Probio Peel, limited to the formula's characteristics. Key factor clear. <laughs> Key factor is clear and clean moisture cleansing. That is cool. Take 
ta take an appropriate amount and apply with a rolling motion on the dry face. On the face with makeup. Ooh. On face with makeup. That's cool. Continue for one minute for a hydrating massage and wash off with warm water. So this will take off your makeup. Tip. May be used in two ways. When used as a morning cleanser, quickly provides moisture to skin and organizes the skin tone for a hydrated and smooth makeup ready skin. When used as a night cleanser, smoothly cleanses away makeup, dirt, and calm sensitive skin. I'm going to test this out and I'm going to let y'all know what I think. So far, I'm so happy with the Ultimate. I'm happy with it. Let's just open that up. Ooh, that's nice. That's what it looks like. Really nice clear gel. I like the packaging. It's very simple. The next thing I got is by Sundays, and this is a nail polish. Because I have some already that I've got from the seat by these people. Ooh, that's a very pretty freaking nude. That is really nice. I like that. The next thing. Ooh. This is a perfume. This is She Was an Anomaly. Edot Libri Orange. I highly doubt I pronounced that right. But She Was an Anomaly. Let's spray. And this is like a deluxe or travel or David. This is a sample. Mmm. That smells good. That smells really good. I like that a lot. The next thing is by Seat London. It's Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. Seems nice. Ooh. That's what it looks like. Mm. Juicy. I like it. I like that. It feels good. Sugar Rush Tart. This is probably a lipstick. And cupcake. Ooh. That's really cute. Reminds me a lot of ColourPop. They're like lip pencils. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know about that. There's no scent to it whatsoever, but they call it cupcake. <laughs> I don't know about that. This is what it looks like when it will be applied on your lips. It's actually a really nice nude, and it feels really, really creamy. It's a velvet liquid lipstick. Okay, so this is a velvet liquid lipstick, so it will not dry down matte. Which, why not? Mm. Very pretty color. I like that. What is this? The next thing I got is a new generation of beautiful in opulence. Oh, it's CS Moy. Okay, I've been wanting to try something from this brand. I haven't got anything yet. And a lot of people said their stuff was pretty good. So shit. I read the packaging. Ooh, this is the brand I was talking about with the Wet n Wild. See? Wet n Wild copied them. But that is what it looks like. That is really, really pretty. I like that. And this is a reflect lip gloss. It's like clear. Well, okay. It does have just a little bit of a color into it. Like, you can't really tell on my hand. It's like an iridescent. Really pretty. Feels good. Feels really good. I know I'm just lathering up with lip product after lip product, but honestly, I'm digging this. Feels good. 
And the very last one is a cleanser, but I used my points to get this one. I forgot about that. This is the It Confidence in a Cleanser. So it is a full size. It was 1800 points that I cashed in for this. So that lip gloss by CS Moy was the last product from the actual Quant Bag Ultimate itself. But that is what the cleanser looks like. I've been really wanting to try this out. But I already have other cleansers actually opened and using that kind of thing. So I'm going to wait to open this up. Okay. I forgot about this. This is um, Invigorating Hand and Body Lotion Sweet Orange Elemy. It's 100% natural lotion. I like the bottle. So this is a sample. I think I got more full size than I did sample, which is nice. Mm. Let's get a little bit of this on my hand. We'll do it on the other hand because I already got all this stuff on the other side. Why won't it come out? Oh, wow, that is thick. I don't know about that. It, it has a weird scent to it. Okay, it dries fast. It's not that creamy feeling and it dries really fast and don't have the greatest smell. It just smells like orange peels, which I normally love the scent of oranges, but this just smells like the peel itself. Like it doesn't smell like the juice. It smells like the peel. You know how that peel has that weird scent? That's honestly what it smells like. And you gotta use quite a bit just to really lather yourself up. But honestly, I was like, very very pleased with everything I got I'm glad I'm happy with all of them one is a lip balm one's a lipstick and then one's a lip gloss so I'm happy with all of them the lotion mm, kind of on the fence with that don't really care for it too much the palette I wish I would have got something different the hair mask smells like fucking burnt hair it stinks the Sunday Riley cleansing oil I'm happy about that the Murad eye cream I'm so glad I got that one plus I picked it so of course I'm happy I got that this I'm really happy to try I really can't wait to try this it's water jam cleansing gel balm so I'm gonna try that tonight actually before I do the it cosmetics one I really want to test this one out see how good it does because sometimes it cosmetics products actually break me out more than they do help me so I want to try the other one first and then I really like this perfume by she was an anomaly like it is really really good that's what the uh, bottle looks like. God, I can't get my fucking words out. That's what the box looks like. So that is what the company symbol is. So if you were trying to look for it, I'll leave the name down in the description box for you guys. The nail polish, I actually really like that. It's a very, very pretty, like, nudie pink. It's, I don't know, it's a weird, unique color, honestly. And I would like to paint my nails that color. That's what it looks like. It's really pretty. And their nail polish is actually really good. I've tried them before. The sunscreen, I'm glad I got that because now I have a different one to use other than my Sunday or my Murad one up all the time. I can use something different to save up on my Murad. Honestly, everything I got, I'm happy with. I believe I covered everything. Everything I'm happy with other than the hair mask. The hair mask, it really, it just stinks. <laughs> That's the only problem with that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video with unboxing the ultimate. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like my content, give it a thumbs up. And you can also subscribe. It's free. And if you hit that notification bell, it will give you notifications every single time I upload. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye.